just one more time Hey guys, Fisher Place here, back with another video. And today we're going to be covering the Anderson DLC. Yes, it did release about a couple, about a week or two ago. But um, I've been kind of on a break. I just got back from a trip and other stuff that's been going on. Uh, I have a couple videos that haven't been released yet for other reasons. Yeah, so we're going to be covering the Anderson DLC today. We're on the Michigan map, which I will show in just a little bit. But we're going down to uh, do get some grass bills so I can show off the Anderson DLC. Uh, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I won't show the billing um, in action just because it's not necessarily needed. Um, this is just a new Holland Baylor and a Fent tractor with the mower on the front. Nothing too special. So yeah, I'll, I guess I'll uh, catch you guys up when we get everything finished. Alright guys, so I said I was doing a little bit of bailing, but I just kind of want to briefly go over some of the equipment. Oops, I forgot to grab something. Um, I'll just show you guys. They do have the under bailing technology. They have this uh, bio baler, which bales poplars. Or, um, yeah, makes them into pop poplar bales. Um, which you can put on the bale trailer. <coughs> um, they do have the log trailer, which is just like the one in game, I believe. Um, just kind of sit on it, you know, move it around. Just like typical. Um, this, which goes on the front of the tractor, that is. Uh, has the bio baler for the poplars, so it knocks the trees down. Or makes them easier to pick up. This one here is a square bale picker. Um, this one is um, just a standard one. Um, this one's just meant for regular bale bales. You can use every kind of bale with it. Um, holds 14. Something I do like about this one though is it lays them down flat. Um, I never really liked the uh, eight stack high bales that we always had in um, base game. Um, so this one, it goes, it does a two by. Um, it holds, I believe, fourteen, and it lays them flat. This one is, um, it stacks them up regular. I believe it holds eighteen or something, sixteen, eighteen. Um, this one is more geared towards silage because it has these rollers to make it easier so it does not fall apart. Um, this is just a regular bale. Um, this one is a, geared towards silage uh, round bales. It has a silage grabber on it. It has all the rollers. Um, this one, I believe, is just a two-wide um, trailer. Um, <coughs> but yeah, it's more geared towards silage. This one, um, just regular round bales, um, but I do believe this is the smaller one. I believe the silage ones that are more geared for silage are the bigger ones. Um, this one, this actually, actually, I can't remember if this one or this one, but it'll actually go three, um, three high. So it'll go there, there, and on top. I think it's that one because it's a little wider. Um, we can uh, test that out. Sorry about that, but we'll uh, we'll bring this one since it's round bales. Uh, but I just want to show you guys that we have those in base games, so you kind of know how they work. This is a uh, bale wrapper uh, round. Uh, I believe it'll do both, possibly. But it's just a regular um, baler. This one, this is a another straw blower. I'll put the bale in there. Um, these two, um, they're feed wagons. You know, put in there, it mixes up, hooks up to a tractor. Um, now, these, um, there's two different sizes. This is the big one, that's fine. These are what I'm really excited about. This is what made me buy the DLC. Uh, what's also pretty cool is listen to this. <laughs> it sounds just like the uh, little Mahindra. Um, but these are <coughs> bell wrappers. They're not ordinary bell wrappers. Um, so, I believe this one. I get 
the moment. I can't remember which one does which. I'll have to look at it. Um, but anyway, one does... I believe this one just does round bales, and this one does round and square. Um, but basically, it wraps them. Instead of individually wrapping them, it wraps them into a big, long snake. Um, which then you can unwrap one at a time, and it'll unwrap the bales. Um, so, hybrid. So yeah, this, hy this is a hybrid. It does both. So yeah, uh, we'll, we're gonna test out the um, we'll test out the hybrid because the regular the regular one just does round bales, and then we'll test. We'll also grab the this guy here for the round round. Actually, no, not that. One. This one for the round bales. Um, since it has, I believe it's a three high one, um, and just kind of show you guys how it works with the grass bales. Um, if you guys want to look at more of the poplar stuff, I don't typically do that. I don't really know how it all works. But yes, yeah, so we'll just kind of go see uh, what we can do. Alright guys, we, uh, we just got back up here. We have like four or five bales um, to go look at. So we'll just um, go to the operating position. That gets some turn in here nice. And uh, we'll just check this out. We'll load a couple bales in here. And we'll take it and put it into the uh, wrapper. So see, it grabs it all nice yeah, and sets it down. So it's kind of that's why it's kind of geared towards silage. I did. We also did notice it. It seems to after um, on the regular ones, it seems to set the arm back down nicer too. So after it's already been um, after it picks up the bale. It resets quicker, basically. And I do believe um, this one, since it has the three, it's um, it actually oops, um, it actually lays them flat on the ground like the uh, smaller baler does. Uh, that I like for squares. Um, but I do believe the other one doesn't. The other one uh, does it tall because um, it only goes um, two instead of three. Uh, so that should be all the bales. Uh, get them ready to unload. They should not unload yet. Now I was kind of afraid that since they do sit flat on the ground that they would actually, they would automatically unload, you, you wouldn't get the option to abort, um, but you actually can, so right here, um, the only problem is, is if it's short, it lets them fall down and then you only have the, uh, the arm has to get on the cushion. Um, that kind of messed up because it wasn't even that much. Alright, so now we'll uh, reset this guy where we want it. Um, now, if I am right, I know they go in by where those uh, loops are, but um, I can't remember if it. If it moves back or it pushes the bales, I believe it actually moves back. Oh, I forgot a bale. Huh. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap by it, I guess. I didn't pick it very well. Square back up on it. That's why I typically use square bells because they don't move around as much. Um, so basically we'll take this guy and square up to the machine, go behind it. There you go. So see those arms moving? That's what 
does the changing from square to round. And you can watch it. I do have the brown stuff because I kind of do like the way the brown looks. Even though around here we have the white. And only did half of it um, because it's not ready. Now if we hit um, unload bales and go ahead and wrap the rest of it. Now that's a problem. Maybe. Just gonna try and get this closer so I don't have to move as much. But that's not gonna work. So I actually gotta back up, which is going forward at the moment. So I guess we'll just leave it here then. You don't have to be in it for it to work either, which I like, even though it has a motor and you can move it. I can't seem to get in the tractor, or I mean the... It's something I really want to find to make a mod for, the Tell Skid. Um, it's a skid loader um, that has the extended boom. It goes in and out like that. Now my question is, which I can't actually try right now because I don't have any square bales, is can you put square and round bales at the same time? Or, which I figure it would considering it's a hybrid, because if not, I figured they'd just make one square, one round one. Which is kind of my thought process on that. But to me, that's about the only reason why. And we did, and I have saw a video too, you can put two bales in, um, basically what will happen is it will automatically, re from what I have saw, it will automatically recognize the second bale, um, it just has to finish wrapping the first bale um, before that. I find it funny, it's like skipping there. We'll watch it here. We'll, it'll finish wrapping that and wrap halfway through um, the one I just put on. And actually, let's just grab this one from the top. The thing I wish they made is so we have our silage bunkers. Um, farms around me in Kansas, what they do is they have, I mean, what we call big pillows, and um, basically it's kind of like the whole si the um, our sil the silage bunkers that we have in farm sim, and this uh, little wrapper. So basically, what happens is a big, big tube. And um, from what I can tell, I've never been around my clothes. Is it basically it's something like this? So basically, they sh it's got a conveyor belt, and they sh use a bobcat or a skid steer, shovel it in there, and then actually no, that's I forgot. No, that's not how they work. Um, from what I believe, that kind of has a yes to see the machine scoots back when it wraps it. Definitely have to move this one out of the way. Um, but it basically has this long tube and it kind of unrolls itself as it um, gets stuff put in it. So we'll go here, we'll hit. Uh, so I guess I can't actually tell what that key says. because of my record thing. Hold on one second, guys. Alright, guys, it is hit. You hit R. You guys can see that, but where my recording thing is, I can't. So basically, shovel piece, it hits that. You hit R. 
and it'll push that out and unload it. And then you can um, still can only really go backwards, and that's just because it pushes this when it goes. So as soon as that goes, we'll hit X to fold, and then you can move um, like a regular vehicle. So see, you have this here. I mean, you can't move it; it's heavy. Um, but we hit. button and it undoes the salvage wheel, which I think that I haven't been around salvage close, but I mean I think it looks pretty good. So again then we can uh, I'm just gonna see if I can get it from the top just just be quick. So you can see, and then it'll close that end off, and basically hit R again, and it'll uncover it. And you can just pretty much keep hitting R. I wonder, I should try, yeah, so you can just go on either end and do whatever you want. So if you wanted to, you could do this one, this, that one, and, or you could leave one on the end and take the two centers out. Although the only thing I don't like is, Really, it's more efficient to do this because if you need it now, you know, there's no wait time. Versus when it's in the bunker, it takes a while, um, which it will take time in a bail anyway. So, yeah, guys, I think this is going to go ahead and be the end of the video. Um, I pretty much went over everything. Uh, not really much else um, that's not base game. Um, if there's anything else you want me to uh, show you, um, just let me know. I'll certainly try and do that. So without further ado, um, talk to you later. We'll see you guys next time.